later. So we're about to get into this Who On What Wednesday, so be right here in a second. Yes, sir. All right. Cool. All right, guys. This is the Who On What Wednesday, and this is the <laughs> what. Uh-oh. And we got some weird what's today. Um, taco chips or they're not like, tacos. They're not. No, it's um, the fuck? octopus. So damn octopus. Shit. Um, why they shake like goldfish? Then, um, <laughs> we got some good old uh, take the cream soda, which is nice. Taco chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Okay, okay. Good. Good. And then we, come on, we can't leave you good. We got pickle flavored soda. What? Brought to you from uh, is that Larry again? Oh, that's uh, uh, Lester's, 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 Lester. Lester's fixings. <laughs> <laughs> so we got seafood chips, pickle flavored soda, and we got peaches and cream. We're gonna have to go with the peaches and cream last. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to go with that last. What's the husband and wife doing? She always makes good flavors. Yeah, she got the husband makes bullshit. So peaches and cream is the wife, and then Lester makes all the crazy shit. All the crazy shit, but Buffalo see. Ranch, Sweet corn? Stop. Sweet corn. We have sweet corn. So we're only doing shot glasses of this, right? Yeah, we have to do shot glasses. You like it. You like it. Thank you, God in right. heaven. So you want to do that first? First things first, we're going to open up. We're going to crack open these octopus flavored yeah. <laughs> chips. Is it just me? It's like all foreign chips are like really hard to open. Yeah, they're always hard to open. They like, really seal them. Yo, they got the foulest smell already from the rip. <laughs> they smell like the sea yard right. when you open this bag. Ooh, shit. And so we'll put some on here. We all, even the man oh, behind the camera. And they even oh got God. the nerve to look like little octopus. That's some bootleg ass uh, goldfish. Yeah, these are like big ass Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like octopi chips. Yeah, octopus cool. chips. Also, in the rarity that you like one of these things, if you like it, you can take it home. <laughs> Say less. I'm gonna let y'all know when you open this bag, though, it smell like Can't Shanghai. Believe. Shanghai, we. And I'm not saying that to be funny because I love all my Asian people. I'm just saying it smelled just like the district, right? <laughs> Shit. Shit. Like, we need to uh, skip these. Like like yeah. yeah. Now, see, I wish I now, see, I had the nerve to chew some gum though before I had this. Oh, this is gonna be some foul cool. shit. All right. I feel like this would be good if you like it for dipping. Yeah, like this what looks like it's for you. What is like? What about well, cocktail sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo chicken dip is bad. Oh no. no. Buffalo chicken, sauce. Buffalo chicken dip sauce. might work with this. I don't know about cocktail sauce. I was just being funny. I wasn't even. Y'all ready? ready? Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's do it. Fuck it. This ain't Damn. Bad. This ain't bad. The smell is horrible, but this ain't bad. The smell is horrible, but these are actually all right. There's like a yeah. lighter version of the shrimp chips. Yeah. We, we just had shrimp chips before. It tastes like shrimp tails. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like a very I ain't gonna lie, lie. The bags inside of the bag smell 10 times worse than the chip going down, man. This is actually all right. Mm -hmm. It's a cool. Actually, this might be one of the better things. Yeah. You know what they almost taste like a little bit? Animal crackers. Yep. Just a See, a bake a baking kind of like a, like a cheese it kind of like bake. Yeah, yeah it's kind of wild though. Like, these are like more than. You ever have the um, the Ritz chips things where they're like half cracker, half chips? I mm. just like what these are like. Mm. Mm. Look, these are from Seoul, Korea. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I ain't gonna give you the address. But just, <laughs> I cannot pronounce that shit. Um. Look, total fat is only 12%. That's not bad. It's uh, got, wow, zero cholesterol. Good. It's only got one gram of sugar. That's not bad. Oh, everything we try from around oh, the world. One gram of sugar. And look, you see me. You see me. I'm looking at the ingredients, man. Protein, one protein? gram. That's not cutting it. No, that's not. Them. That's not, not cutting for, Not for something that's supposed to be related to that's fish. That's not cutting it. Yes, that's... Hey yo, we are about to try some pickle soda, man. That is not that's not carbonate. Powerful. First thing everybody here has probably tasted pickle juice before. Oh, just not carbonate. Like that. Get a, yeah, you might want to smell. That's like the that's like a sweet jerk in or something. Was that no? What do you think? Black? Like a, no, it definitely smells pickle. Yeah, it's, it's very. It's dill pickly smell. It's got a dill pickly smell to it. Lester does his job. Yeah, that's the easy bullshit. This is bullshit for sure. I can guarantee oh. you that. <laughs> No, nah, fam. That's not, it's not like, it's yes. Like yes. Like, oh, uh, shit. No, we're, gonna, we're about to drink this shit, man. Listen. Oh. Listen. Pickle flavored soda by Lester's Fixins. 
Really okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Here is mud in your eye. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry in um, advance, y'all. We spit this shit out. Do not fucking get mad at me. All right, here we go. Yeah. Well. It tastes like pickle. I mean, it's, it's, it's not. I don't want no more. No, no. It's no, it's I don't want no more. No, but it's no, no, no. I don't want no more, but I'm not going to sit there and act like it actually had a sweet taste to it. Yeah, it was like a sweet Which is definitely taste. different. And that's that's some shit that really, I mean, it would be deceptive if you poured it in somebody's drink and they wouldn't know what's going that's on like, oh, or some I mean, shit like that. Oh, <laughs> oh, <we. laughs> but, that shit looks like Mountain Dew. I'd be mad as fuck. It looks like Mountain Dew, but hey, yo. Oh, what? Hey, yo, you don't think somebody pissed in the goddamn yeah. bottle, Mountain Dew. Yeah, right. You don't swear by that? Hey, yo, somebody's going to be over there hacking. You know what's gonna be? Blah, blah. You already know that shit's gonna go down. You already know that. It's gonna be dramatic as fuck. Face gonna be sour. Like, you know how that shit go, man. That shit's better. fucking foul. <laughs> That's better than the butter. That's better than the ranch. That's better than the sweet corn. Okay, it was better than them. No, I can drink that. Sweet, sweet, sweet corn was off the chain. Sweet corn tastes exactly like sweet corn. Yeah. But I'd rather have the sweet corn than. That's why corn was stronger. Yeah. That's why corn was way stronger. I mean, if we're going to do this on a scale from one to ten, this will get like maybe a five or a four. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. 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 Oh, that's when it comes back. When it comes back. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I haven't burped yet, I man. But you see, y'all. <laughs> no, no, we're going to pass. No, it's time to get the good shit now. Let's get let's get the good shit. I can't actually start on the fact that we definitely did drink like three shots of the buffalo one. This is y'all y'all we drink because we, it was a weird taste. We it's like yeah. It's like spicy. Do they all have a sweet taste to them? Yeah, that's somewhat a soda a soda like taste. Soda but it's mixed with soda. whatever. Whatever I'd be a damn Yankee. Yeah, the ranch, not ranch. ranch was the worst. Mm. All right, this is probably this is all good. Mm, this sound, this tastes, this smells real peachy. I'm smelling it right here, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it's on the peach level. I mean, it's, it's, more it's a, a little bit more extreme, huh? You're getting this later, Mike. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, it's on. It's on, bro. It's on. It's on. Here you go. Mud in your eye, y'all. Mud in your eye. This is peaches and cream. All right. That really did taste like peaches and cream. I think it was more creamy yeah. than it is peach. It do got like an aftertaste like yeah, NyQuil. Like like yeah, the old Tussin. Yeah. Yes. That was the weird part about it. I was like, you almost want to wash it down with one of these. Like, no, that was what, like, honestly, yeah. that it's like animal cracker shit. You might as well, it's octopus chip, it's animal. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no, that was what got it to me. I'm like, why did it go down like, like old Robo Tussin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did, but it was more like you know what it is. It was it tastes like an extreme cream soda. Yeah, like an extreme taste, cream soda though. It was more, that was a little bit of that. Yeah, maybe maybe you could smack that with a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. oh, that yeah. might make a difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Splash of that. A splash of that to do it. Yeah, you don't need that. Much. You don't got need much. No, because it really is. Look, let's have another glass of it though while we at it. Just because I got to taste this one more time, really, to get that. I must say, because that that because I didn't catch I didn't catch exactly what it was that you guys caught. It, it's it's like a um. Like I said, it gives you that like like I'd say like children's concert. Like it still tastes. Ooh, shit! It does. No, it's a very medicine-y taste. You know what I'm saying? It's like Pedia Light or yeah, Pedia Sure or. Yeah, or, so or 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 Robitussin. It does have a Tussin-y kind of like vibe to it. Or you do you remember when they had the popsicle like the uh, the medicine popsicles? Yeah. It, it mm. You know what? Damn, I totally forgot about them shits. But you know what else this could be too? This could be another pranker. This could be oh, another what? pranker because you could slide this into a drink, into a mixed drink, and have somebody thinking that it tasted something totally different. Like, like you know what? I mean, did y'all put some codeine in my shit, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you look man, not daily, man. Hey, look, man, I ain't leaning tonight, man. I'm not leaning. And yo, if somebody start acting like that for real because they think that shit is like that for real, then you're gonna know they're fake as hell. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You'd be like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, hey, man. Uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, like, hey, hey, bro, please, man. Please spare me. Spare me today. You know what I'm saying? He's spare been me doing that way But too that much really much. had an interesting aftertaste. The pickle was was, was definitely loud. 
That pickle taste was wild and, and did not make me want to get another one. No. Um, Why is that worse? I would not highly, I would highly recommend that you not taste that one because it's not gonna make, it's not gonna be pleasant. It's not gonna be pleasant. It's gonna be a weird feeling because, it's gonna be a weird feeling because it's sweet like a soda, but it's still, it's, it, it's, it's, it feels like you drank a pickle. Yeah. Like you drank a pickle and that's that's crazy. And honestly, I've, I've tasted pickle you're juice. Right, you're, right. you're, part of, if you're one of those awkward people that drink pickle juice, you won't like that because pickle juice is tart. Mm -hmm. That's still sweet. And I don't think you want sweet yeah, juice. No. There's that extra, messed it up. The after. Separately they work. Yeah, the after you know for this being soda man it has not made me burp yet and that's kind of interesting too hey you know what and that's but see then again look i noticed he hasn't either you know what i'm saying and it's like mm, normally when you drink soda even if you drink that little bit it's gonna come yeah, up no 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 we i burped up the ranch and other mm. shit fruit. that was shit was disgusting again these two aren't that bad to me and shot me you know why because jay pad the juggernauts in the building that's why we <laughs> really get the extremity of the extremity but even yet and still, it was kind of wild, and we will give a low grade to the Taco Chips uh, scent. The scent was absolutely foul and smelled like I was I was in a dead fish factory. Usually, uh, we do a rating. So, what do you think was the first, the best, the last? What do you think? The best, the best was the chips. All right. The best was the chips. All right. Right, I'll give it to you. The chips were number one, and that's just because they decept they were deceptively good. Yeah. Kind of remind me of like I said, you open that bag, it's like it, it smelled like it smelled like New York in Chinatown. Like it was definitely rough. Or New York by the wharf. Yeah. <laughs> by the wharf down there in the by, by the water. Hell yeah. Man, listen, that shit smelled crazy. You gonna drink this again? Or you getting drink? So what's your what's your middle one? Oh damn! General? I just burped, man. I just uh, called it up. Mm, uh, <laughs> worse than, it's worse after you drink too. You know what? That wasn't really a bad burp though. It yeah, wasn't yeah, bad. It, it didn't have bad. it didn't have an after smell. It wasn't rough. Maybe that maybe that cream soda negated yeah. the 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 the, yeah, the pickle. That's what happened. Yeah. Would I drink the pickle again? No. No, I wouldn't drink the pickle again. That's really a foul like soda. It's like it's like weird as hell. But um, the peach soda, I probably could get away with it if I was absolutely thirsty, because I really drink a lot of water, and I drink a lot of you know like like natural juice and water and and tea. You know what I'm saying? Um, very rare, but it's still good to have a can of soda every now and again. Believe it or not, they they if you look at some of the, the shit they say and the experts say it, it, you you know what? Drinking a can of soda is really not that bad of a thing. Every now and again, just don't go don't, don't live on board it. With it, right? Don't live on it. <laughs> Soda was good. Definitely give it thumbs up. That that cream soda was definitely good. It gave it a syrupy kind of like or, or a medicine-y kind of like aftertaste, but it was good. I drink that again. I drink that again. But the best thing that, that we had today was these chips. These chips are actually pretty good once you get them out the bag. Yeah. If you can withstand the smell of the bag, because the smell of the bag is definitely the smell of the bag smells like some old fish, yo. For, old fish for viewers that have been watching this for a minute for me it kind of it's not the same taste at all but it brings me back to the meat pie pringles if we open that meat oh. we have meat pie pringles from australia meat pie pringles it was, yeah. banging, it was banging but it tasted good it tasted, it tasted good, good though. i thought they tasted good too y'all are cool but they definitely <laughs> stuck around. oh they stuck mm, around. hover just hovering Yo, the oh, aftertaste. Like, oh, look, no, that's more, the scent. Oh, yeah. Lord, no. It was one of those where it's like, if you eat this, you're going to smell like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you got that, it, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> no, man. I, I probably would have been mad at y'all for giving me that shit. Uh, and it was real Pringles, too. Like, it was in the can. It was Pringles. Meat pie Pringles, though, man. Stop the madness. Yeah. They need to quit so, that shit. <laughs> they need to cut that shit the fuck out. It's just like it's just like you go to see what we go see chili uh, chili um chili meat pie Pringles next. <laughs> what you gonna see next? I mean, let's we'll slam it all together. What the hell? We gonna we gonna have a we we'll have taco you almost meat got, pie Pringles. You almost got sweet <laughs> skittles. I saw them skittles and I almost bought them. What? I almost bought the skittles. I almost what skittles? skittles? They got a uh, hot skittles. On. Hot skittles? What do you got? Everything. You can't even fire like you Stop, you man. Like Stop. Hey, look, anything that says fire hot, be very careful eating that shit. Be very careful eating that shit. That shit's really not fucking good for you at all. I see people lighting shit like that on fire all the goddamn time. Just, just don't fucking get the hot Cheetos. Don't eat the hot Cheetos. Don't eat the hot whatever, nigga. Don't eat, don't eat nothing hot. 
<laughs> Unless you got some red hot. Frank's red hot, that's cool. Anything else to say hot chips or anything like that, get away from them as far as possible. Get away from them as far as possible. But the experiment was a lot of fun. I had, I had, I had fun trying the pickle uh, soda, but fuck. I will not eat that again. I will not drink that again. No, no, it's over. It's over. These Tango chips, though. So y'all know what time it is. After we do the taste test so every day, we hit you with the overlay on filter. I'm about to refine the video, but I cannot pass the opportunity to talk about this right now. We got our man. Um, we do have some, I don't know who specifically is the overlay on filter. I don't know if it's my man for going all the way home with his food and then figuring out what was wrong. There's the people in the restaurant. But McDonald's was out here fucking with people today. Ooh. And uh, I got a video. Like I said, I'm going to refine it and get it on the page for y'all. I promise. Ooh. But what happened? My, my man ordered a 10 piece chicken and nugget. It was like, I'm assuming like 10, 11 o'clock at night, went home, opened that shit. Now, I did hear that he was a little disrespectful to people when he ordered the food. I don't know what he was doing, but they gave mm -hmm. him a biscuit. They gave him a biscuit, a breakfast biscuit <laughs> inside the inside the ten piece box. Oh wow! So they didn't even, <laughs> he didn't get no nuggets. He just got a biscuit, a, a, a breakfast biscuit at that from yesterday's morning. They probably didn't cook the biscuit. They probably didn't. Even, they probably pulled it right out the damn freezer and just put it in that. <laughs> yo, hey yo, they is sick for that. Look, but they will hire anybody at McDonald's. Y'all need to quit that shit. And Burger King, y'all twice as worse. Wendy's, y'all on y'all on Burger King Street. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. It's ratchet as hell. I it, it take forever. Look, I ordered a double from this was not too long ago. You know, because every now and again you cheat when you're on the diet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I ordered a double from Wendy's, a double with bacon. I get man, I go to bite into the sandwich because it was dark in the car. I didn't even see the shit. It was a single. Oh. Uh, listen. <laughs> How do you get an extra patty? Like you one patty short. That's why you one patty short. Yeah. And that's why you only go to 50 dollars. <laughs> Jesus ain't gonna co-sign no shit like that. He was like, look, man, we learned we gave y'all the ability to read, write, spell, and count. Well no, this is my other issue. I, I don't know if he just bought nuggets, but he came back for his money and he said it was 14. Where the fuck are they selling 10 pieces for $14? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't buy a 10 piece nugget, they're eating them in the car. I was about to say, there ain't no way in hell. And if you were okay with that before you bought those, there's something wrong with you. Okay? That means you ain't doing the right thing in life and you'll, you got to screw loose. I was like, it's safe. You're you a great short of the house. I've, I've always came to the argument that like everybody knows fast food ain't good. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, part of the reason you probably eating it is because it's cheap. Fourteen dollars for ten nuggets. You fucking up the whole game. No, no, no. You gotta, you, you, you gotta yeah, go back to remedial school or something, man. You gotta ride the short bus, or you know what I mean? Like, like you, you pay. Yeah. No, first of all, for you to not even check your food yeah, from McDonald's in the first place is your mistake. That's your fault that you got biscuit. You got biscuit Benedict, eggs Benedict biscuit in your chicken nugget. That they, they, that was a biscuit nugget. Biscuit McNugget. You have biscuit McNuggets. I don't even leave the lot before checking my bag. Oh no, you're way different about like I, I, you and Rico are the two people I hate going to go get food with. Y'all be out here because I'd be afraid when I get my food with y'all. Why don't the why when you go to those fast food men? The problem I have is this: why don't they ever? Why does the menu picture look so fucking good? Yeah. And then you get the sandwich and it looked like they just took a a, a compressor and just smacked that bitch together like it was flattened like a. God damn, like what is that shit that they use to smash the trash in the back of the yeah. damn trash truck? <laughs> the like, motherfuckers just the I'm like motherfucker, did you take the did you take the bread and put it in the clam with the with the beef? With the beef, bro? Like you clammed the damn you know what I mean the sandwich together. Before we go, I gotta agree with him on, on that for two reasons. One, I went to Burger King earlier and got one of them, the one of those small sandwiches, but I want <laughs> no, but I watched them make somebody else's shit because I can see to the back to the grill. I'm like, what's the problem? It doesn't look like they're even it trying. It doesn't look like they're even trying. They just, like, bro, that. They just slap those like, shits together. They get tired of that shit after a while. You know they do. They're after the hundredth burger for the day, you know you tired of that shit. Yeah, yeah. You done got fifty burgers in for the day, and you ready? You ready to cut it? I looked at that bitch. I'm like, she won't take that first bite. And it's gonna be all onion, and there ain't gonna be no onions left on this fucking thing. Hey, <laughs> yo, not all onion, though. No. <laughs> I, was, I, was like, I was like, oh no, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's yeah. Up. You can't even call that a burger. Personally, the only place that looks like it, and I know this sounds crazy because they wrap it up in a big ass tin foil wrapper, 
Five guys is usually the only ones that look like that. They make it. Now, here's a better question, guys, before we go. Uh, what's the What restaurant has fell off the worst? What restaurant chain has fell off the worst? Restaurant fast food. Well, fast food, restaurant slash restaurant chain. Anything that you would consider fast or quick, like 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 Pizza Hut's still quick. Or like this, that is still quick. You know what I'm saying? I say KFC. KFC fell off the I most? For, for how much they keep on trying to come out with these commercials with different kernels and stuff and all the eating gimmicks. Reba? Oh, I like Reba. I thought with Reba. Reba, I love oh, Reba. Reba McIntyre was dope as the kernel. But, but I kind of agree with that. On the other side, on longer ways, I think Olive Garden. Olive Garden? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. What you Burger King, definitely. Burger King, definitely. They always, try, back always try to, they always try to revamp it, but like every time I'm like, okay, let me give it a try. Just... To bring it back. Remember when they had the fake Burger King over there on East Carson, though? Oh, yeah. yeah. To, <laughs> and then they had to really put the real Burger King over there because they had figured the motherfuckers out. He's like, I'm in the fake Burger King. What is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, yo, the franchise was like, look, man, we got to pull this shit, man, before. <laughs> yeah. We got to pull this shit. Mine is Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Yes, Pizza Hut has definitely, when they when they started building Pizza Huts where you couldn't sit down, oh, that's yeah. when they, that's when Pizza Hut started falling off. Right man, here. look. <laughs> look, look, the one, the one on Armour Boulevard, I'm sorry, y'all. Armo Boulevard, man, y'all got the most automated Pizza Hut in the world, bro. Like it's automated pizza. It's like it's not even like it almost tastes like half of the pizza. Like it, like the crust don't even taste like the real Pizza Hut crust. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? That was their selling point. Is yeah. the crust? Come on, man. That now, come on. You're just selling, starting to taste, man, man, super manufactured. Like, like that dough don't even like it's coming automated. Oh, no, like the dope, like everything. It's like them pieces that you buy, Giant Eagle. You know the pieces that you buy, Giant Eagle. They got all the toppings and shit and everything on it. You slide that in the oven, but it don't taste like the regular pizza that you want it that you want to have. Man, that's what that Pizza Hut pizza is starting to taste like, dog. I agree with him. What you think about Domino's? I, this was, I was about to say that because one Pizza Hut was the childhood, like we was the order now. I was going to, like, low key, if I was under the age of like 12, I was going to fit if we was getting pizza from any pizza. Hut. <laughs> Swear to God. But <laughs> swear to God, <laughs> but uh, yo, like shit, we still want a pizza. I said like, we still want a pizza out on my grandma's birthday. She's been gone for like ten years because we always shit. That was what she used to do. What's and an off brand? What's an off brand pizza that's good that y'all like? What do you mean? I like Salvatore's. Oh, oh Vincent 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've had their pizza before too. It's good. I fuck with theories. Up yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a place. There's a place. There's a place. If you're going towards Braddock Hills, um, what's that little side road back there that 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 that'll take you right past and pass through um, this little storage and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like like it, like Armour Boulevard's right here. But if you bust that right before the Parkway, you can get on this other little side road. No. I want to say it might be Electric Avenue or something like that because you can cut all the way to to um. To Yost Boulevard, you know, you know, KFC's I, I, on Yost, right? Yeah, yeah, like, know. if you take that road up towards Yost and get up by KFC, it's that intersection right there. What the hell is the name of that street? Anyway, there's a restaurant over there. There's a bar slash restaurant named Foley's. Go to Foley's, man. They got bomb food over there, man. Bomb food, bomb food. Foley's, what up? <laughs> and to answer your question about Domino's. I'm still not truly happy with the pizza, but they've made everything else better. I'll be banging on them sandwiches. Bro. Yeah, the, the sandwich is definitely official. And, um, sandwiches is official. And, and they got that fucking bill where you get two things for $5.99. Why isn't that bill? Let me ask you this, though. Yeah, the pizza still sucks. Why does the chicken at Pizza Hut and Domino's <laughs> feel automated? <laughs> Like it literally feels automated. Like it feels like like that's not even a real drumstick, bro. Why why is there a bone in this? Why is there a bone in this wing? Like this don't even look like a real wing, dog. This look crazy as hell. Am my problem with that? Yeah, we eating something that's that's like a hybrid. It's like a, a meerkat <laughs> chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My thing is, I know this sounds real silly because, like, if I order a pizza from Domino's, I had to go put a bunch of special shit on it just to get it to where I need to be. If I can't eat your pizza as yeah. pepperoni or cheese, mm, there's a problem. And that's I, can't, problem. I can't eat Domino's pepperoni, and that hurts. That gotta, really does. That's I'm sad. Like, that's sad, put, man. Like, bacon and steak and add like three. You gotta add on stuff it. on it just for it to be right. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah.
And, and you know what? In, in, in the sauce, though, the sauce has changed a lot too. Yeah. And that one on six that. Um, on six and wood downtown is bullshit. They gotta get. They need Terrible. To, they just need to get rid of that one. What? See, look, there you go. The one, the one down, go. the one we ordered from at the fucking hotel, and they they ordered, they brought food to the hotel, and then they we called them. It was like we don't we don't deliver that far the street. We was up in fucking we was at the hotel across the street from my concert. Was, don't y'all hate them restaurants that got business hours on the door and then they don't be open and shit? Yeah. He's mad as hell. And, they, and first of all, you open the door and give me a good ass meal before, motherfucker. And now you close. That's terrible. And the business hours say you're supposed to be open right now, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put put at least put a put a piece of paper in the window or something, man. Yeah, put me a piece of paper in the window. Let me know something. Don't feed me something good and then be closed, motherfucker. <laughs> I, hate, I hate the places that um there's like, yeah. oh, I finally went back to that gyro place the other day, the one we went to when we was in college. Uh, we're on 51 across from Boston Market. Oh, yeah. Jordan, Gilio's or something. Uh, oh, wow. They got a gyro spot out there on 51? Yeah, but it's like, yeah. it's, like it's all gyro spots close at fucking six. That's what I've got. Unless, <laughs> you're, Mike, unless, unless you're, Mike, you're Mike and Tony's here, right? <laughs> Or Lesbos, right? Lesbos yeah. or Mike and Tony's, right? Because Lesbos will stay open until about maybe shit. 11. We had to plan that shit. We went to class and we had to plan to make sure, because we kept on hearing about it. It was like we had to plan to go to the gyro place to make sure we got there before it closed. Before it closed. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I think it's Galley Gyro. Yeah, it's Galley's Gyro. That's crazy. Like, uh, nice, nice. 51 and uh, like. Do they, sell, do they sell up more than just gyros? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they got all the other stuff, too. It's a sit-down sit restaurant. Like, yeah. you know, that yeah. was the, the best thing about it when we went in there was we sat down and our waitresses and everything was obviously American, speak, I spoke English. We heard them niggas talking in the kitchen. They were speaking so Wait a minute. So it's, so, and it's Greek, right? It's, yeah, it's they were Greek, speaking yeah. say Greek in the back. Greek, right. Yeah. Absolutely Greek. So m most of the dishes are Greek dishes, right? Yeah. yeah. They're grape leaves, man. Y'all ever had the grape leaves? Oh, those are awesome. Those are excellent. Get you, get you some grape leaves, and you won't understand exactly what I'm talking about because it's like um how they do stuffed um pepper. You know how you do stuffed pepper, you put the meat and the, the rice and you just like gumbo it all together in the in the, in the stuffed pepper. It's just like that, damn near in a um in a, in a grape leaf. Yep, yep. Heat that joint up, and there's like there's like this lamb meat and a uh, uh, rice, and it's it's pretty good, pretty good. So. We about to get out of here for today. I guess. Wait, wait, what about that one tackle? That we already did Oglio filter. I'm not doubling up on Oglio filters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be tomorrow's Oglio filter, maybe if I don't find anything else crazy. And I'm sorry, man. That hey, thank y'all for having me. I'm yeah, filtering that too. Thank you, you for coming out, Jay. Yeah. Appreciate Always. it. And you Appreciate can come. It. Hey, man, we tell everybody to come. We do sports on Mondays. We do yep. top tens on Tuesdays. You come any day of the week. Feel chill. free to have me back, man. Feel like, free to have me oh, back. You back. back. Yeah, we listen to way too much of your music. That was the issue I had when we first asked to get you on here, man. I'm like, yeah. I was like every other album oh, has J -Pen. Before J before I go, man, <laughs> shameless plug, Wrecking Ball is out there right now, and In the Lane is out there right now. So in the lane, you can catch that on bandcamp.com. Um, that's an excellent platform for y'all. For those of y'all that don't know nothing about Bandcamp, go on Bandcamp, check it out. You can self-distribute yourself, it doesn't cost you a thing. Uh, and then on iTunes is Wrecking Ball. So you can check Wrecking Ball out on iTunes or any of your, your major digital outlets. The videos on YouTube, the links there. Um, so yeah, check that stuff out. There's a single that's coming uh, real soon down the pipeline uh, within the next several weeks. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the name of it is because I'm, I'm, it's going to be a surprise, but uh, it's going to have uh, Manny from Pretty Ricky on it. And uh, it's going to be for the ladies, you know, say right on time, you know, just the, the seasons are changing. So once the season starts to change, you got to, you got to change up with that. And so we're going to release another single, man. And that's what I've been doing. Getting back into my artistry too, as well. So. Trying to shut down the song. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> man. You already know. Hey, look, and, and, and another thing is never too old. You're never too old to try to do what it is that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'll be pushing 50 here soon and I'm still putting records out. You know what I'm saying? And I, and there's no timetable on a career because I feel like I'm more relevant now than I was when I was 25. So Continue to keep doing what it is that you're doing, man. Never quit. Never quit. Keep doing what you're doing. And before we go, you know, I always got to make sure, try to run through these tags without fucking up. GrimeOWideRadio.com, IG and Twitter at GMWW Radio. Radio if you want to watch any of the videos we have, including this one here today. GMWW Radio at gmail.com if you want to send us some music or send us some instrumentals. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, I will do that now. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's JSCOT by 99 on Instagram. And on uh, Twitter, technically, even though I haven't been on it in six months. And and then Twitter for them on uh, uh, Instagram as well. And you always know unfiltered underscore PGH if you want to get on the Instagram. Shout out Booney the Kid. Always, oh, always shout out Booney the Kid. Always shout out Booney the Kid. Grimo. Booney the Kid. Shout out to um, shout out to John Basement too. 
Shout out John Basement. I say that's Grind Mode all in the house. And again, uh, again, man, this is the. I Shout out Grind Mode. I didn't know until like <laughs> ten minutes before we started this damn started this interview that he did the Grind Mode theme song. <laughs> I didn't know that at all, so I gotta say shout out for that. So there it is. There it is. Once again, right back in your face. If you thought I was going somewhere, you're crazy. <laughs> but we're gonna be back tomorrow. Peace, y'all. I know that you know we'll be back tomorrow with Rap Jury. We got three albums tomorrow. And that's yeah, we got three albums. You probably hear my <laughs> shit again tomorrow. Oh, yeah, definitely gonna be on something tomorrow. So thank you guys all again. Thank you again, Jack or not. Thank we, you. Uh, and he'll be back soon. Like I said, he'll be back. Yeah, I know. He'll be back now. He's too much fun out of that. That's more shit. <laughs>